advances, of course, with prolotherapy has been where we can get stem cells and various healing elements out of the blood, out of the fat, and out of the bone marrow. And so one of the more common stem cell procedures we do here at Caring Medical is called lipoaspirate prolotherapy. That's where we actually uh, take fat, uh, an aspirate of fat, uh, from either fat in the buttock area or in the abdomen, and we get that in a syringe. Then we, often we mix that with platelet-rich plasma, and then we use that as the proliferant into degenerated tissues. So a common question that we get asked at Caring Medical is, you know, when do you use lipoaspirate uh, prolotherapy? Like, when would you actually use fat as the proliferant? And everyone typically knows that they found, science has found, research has found that fat cells can turn into other cells. So fat cells, the stem cells and fat cells can form cartilage cells, ligament cells, tendon cells, muscle cells. So when there's a deficiency of these kind of cells, so there's a deficiency of cartilage cells when a person has almost no cartilage. So if somebody had an osteochondral defect, meaning that a cartilage piece was missing, or if they had like bone-on-bone -bone arthritis, one of the treatments that we would consider doing is fat stem cell therapy or lipoaspirate prolotherapy. When somebody had the diagnoses of tendinosis, tendinosis, they had a very chronically degenerated tendon we could use the combination of lipoaspirate with PRP. Because often we combine them because the PRP has the growth factors that you need for healing. And there is some indication that when you combine like lipoaspirate with PRP, the lipoaspirate actually works better. You know, the lipoaspirate has some effects to get the stem cells to go to the damaged area to stimulate healing quicker. So obviously that would be a good combination. So chronic tendinosis. Uh, there's people that have had you know, meniscal surgery or they have meniscus tissue missing or the meniscus isn't healing good uh, or the labrum. The labrum and the meniscus are not cartilage, they're not ligament tissue. Uh, they're called uh, fibrocartilage, like it's fibrocartilage. Fibr are fibrochondrocytes is what you need to uh, stimulate <coughs> to repair uh, meniscus and labrum. So when somebody has a labrum missing or a labral tear that's not healing or a chronically degenerated labrum or a chronically degenerated meniscus, we would consider uh, to use lipoaspirate. Now somebody could have chronic ligament injury and you could make an argument for using lipoaspirate, but typically regular prolotherapy with strong proliferants, it works so good for ligaments, so we normally wouldn't uh, use it for that, but you could use it for that. But the most common reason that we use it for is uh, somebody who doesn't want to get a joint replacement, and they one of the treatments that often we would use on a good prolotherapy candidate who's been told they need a joint replacement would be lipoaspirate prolotherapy.